Happening all day today, Beto O'Rourke on the campaign trail here in the Upper Valley, and tomorrow he is scheduled to be in the Lower Valley. O'Rourke hoping third time is the charm after losing recent bids for the Senate and presidency. He now wants to be on the ballot for Texas governor next November as a Democratic Party nominee. Channel 5's Trevier Gonzalez spending the day tracking O'Rourke's movements. He is live in McAllen. Trevier. Yes, there, after two very different kind of roundtable discussions this afternoon, a massive turnout with Valley locals here in McAllen. As you said, it all comes after O'Rourke's narrow loss in the 2018 Senate race where he lost against Ted Cruz, as well as whenever he dropped out of the presidential election in 2019. Still, the Valley support here for Beto was made clear at this event. With the chance returning tonight, a rally for a candidate all too familiar with life along the border. But before meeting with supporters, the only way to get a room in the hospital is if somebody died. Beto O'Rourke taking notes on a grim reminder on how the pandemic impacted the valley. Here's what you said, and I wrote it down. Our health is only as good as our neighbor's health. O'Rourke asking the Hidalgo County Health Authority what it will take to increase the state's vaccination rate against COVID-19. And it's all about trust. If you filter all the reasons why people do not get vaccinated and you put them through a filter, the answer always is a lack of trust. Hmm. The candidate later addressing Governor Abbott's response to the failed power grid, saying that, alongside the pandemic, cost lives. We know that we can do better in Texas and we can get past those failures, the divisive culture wars on abortion, on guns, on transgender students that the governor wants us to focus on and get back to doing the big things, jobs, great schools, and doing things, as I heard from Dr. Melendez, that would improve the health of our communities, like expanding Medicaid. And to a large crowd, Beto also floating one last idea. What if we legalized marijuana yeah. in the state of Texas so, so that we no longer lock up our fellow Texans for possession of a substance that is legal in the rest of the country? Now, something to note about this race, O'Rourke has significantly less time than when he announced for his candidacy for Senate in 2017. Now, now he has less than a year to convince much of the state to vote for him as governor. Reporting in McAllen, Trevor Gonzalez, Channel 5 News at 10.